Okay, welcome back to, to Battletech. Battle okay, welcome back to Battletech. I haven't uh, read any comments on the previous video, episode three yet, because I haven't even edited the footage at the time of recording this. I'm literally continuing from where I left off at the end of the other episode because I can't save yet, so I don't want to just close the game here. I'm just gonna get through this uh, for the beginning of episode four here. So, continuing from where we left off. All right, everybody, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts, and I might repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Uh-oh. Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message. Oh, it's, it's Amara. B uh, this is where we, I, how much you want to bet? Um, fucking calling bullshit? Unknown. She, unknown, unknown ID, and she, okay, it's totally Arano, uh, what did I say? Amaro? No, it's it's Arano. Uh, can't remember her name. We think she got killed in the dropship. I'm calling it right now. It's fucking her. And this is how we get in contact with her again to progress storyline. Haha. -ha. How much you want to bet? Okay. Anyway, uh, unknown. She didn't ID herself in a message, but she can. Bleh. She claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. What is that? Oh, she, oh, the Magistry of Canopus. Okay. She says that she's got a big job lined up and she wants us for it us specifically she called the commander out by name Ooh, see it's her i'm calling it she's got a good taste in mercenaries whoever she is hey look our luck is finally changed how would she even know about us in the first place it isn't like we're drowning in public this is I, this is uh, what my character would ask if like i just kind of know how games work you know they're all a little cliche and it's it's totally gonna be uh arano i'm, I'm saying God, why can't i remember her full name um fuck you know who i'm talking about Kamea, Kamea Arana, that, her. But me as the character in the game thinking that she's dead, yeah, I would be like, how would she, who is this? How would she know about me or my name, you know? So I'm gonna go with that option. Good question, and I'm betting we don't have an answer. You certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that love, that all love to repossess this ship. No, I cleared it up with the banks, so in the last episode, um, they wouldn't throw a bounty on us don't think. We're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review of boards back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain, but for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. Oh, okay. She reached out to us um, with a pri priority HPG message, and those things aren't cheap. Ain't cheap. Um, HPG, uh, the Hyper Pulse Generator, or HPG, is a device capable of sending terabytes of compressed information from one point to another at faster than light speeds. All modern HPG arrays are owned and operated by Comstar. Huh. Okay. I did not know about... Oh! That's why that map in MechWar Online is called HPG Manifold. Okay. Now that level makes a little more sense. Got it. <laughs> rich is good. I like rich. Me like money. Me from caveman era. Like, what the fuck is this response? I would never say that. We'll meet this new mystery, bleh, mystery client, but that's all we'll do until we've heard her pitch. That sounds like a step in the right direction, at least. Um, yeah, either of these, I think. I think my, my character would be a little more skeptical, though, so I'm gonna choose this. Uh, that's fair, Commander. We need to follow up on this, but that doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is just a meeting. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, shoots you in the face. Our new client vents us out the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. I mean, all right, man, I don't need to be all fucking emo up in here. Jesus Christ. Thanks for that delightful image, Yang. Look, Roman, I'll admit, this is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon, the client will be waiting. That's where I came from. Okay. Damn it, I was there before. If I didn't leave, ah, oh, if I had done the other mission, I would have already been here for this. Okay. Some people were telling me, though, that not to do all the storyline missions right away because you need to do other merc contracts, other contracts, side stories, uh, whatever, right? To sort of build up before doing the main story missions because the main stories are, like, harder and there's no uh, really going back on those, I guess. The contract to meet with our Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command center. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Okay, our mech warriors have picked up a fair amount of combat experience over these last few drops. Head to the barracks uh, to review their dos dossiers and direct their training. And don't forget, you can check on the state of our finances from the terminal of your captain's quarters. If you ever want to change our mercenary company's name or symbol, you can do that from here too. Okay, no, Shivaxi's Jews is, is just fine. <laughs> okay, so that sort of concludes my intro, at least, for episode four here. I'm going to stop recording, save this for later, go edit episode three, release it on YouTube, and then come back 
recording for this once I get everybody's inputs and comments and opinions on on the last episode. Okay, I'll I'll be right back. I mean, in reality, it's gonna be like several days, but y you know what I mean. Okay, whatever. I'll be right back. Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because it's been so long since I've gotten back to... Uh, yeah, alright. I feel like every time I go to record a game now, I'm just like, I always apologize in the beginning of the video for <laughs> taking so fucking long to get <laughs> to the... Like, I just... Oh my god. It's been like a month since I've played Battletech, so obligatory, I apologize. So I'm just I'm just gonna shut up and move on. Uh, the first five minutes that you saw there was recorded from the end of episode three, so there's a there's a huge jump in time here. I, I need to sort of get back into things. One thing I do remember I wanted to show is that apparently because I, I have one of the backer keys or whatever for the game, I get this different uh, skin for the Shadowhawk. This thing looks fucking awesome. I mean, look at this. Default. Umbra. Like what what is this? <laughs> Looks fucking awesome, dude. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run uh, this skin, I guess, now. I didn't even know I had this. Uh I don't remember if I even leveled up my pilots at all. Okay, I have a little XP to do something, but I might save it. What I'm really thinking about doing is um and I know I've talked about this before, but moving this series into live streams because whether I'm recording or live streaming, these videos are just fucking long as hell. And I think a lot of people were wanting me to do some live or just to live stream this. Uh so after this episode, I might move over to live streams. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or if you just want to keep keep these as just normal videos. Because they're so long that I, I don't really do a whole bunch of, like, crazy editing anyway, you know what I mean? So, it might just be better suited as a live stream thing. I just, I, I'm afraid it's just gonna, like, I'm afraid it's just gonna take, like, way longer than it already does. Because I really do take my time with this game, you know what I mean? And I don't know if people are gonna want to sit there during a live stream while I'm like, okay, well, let me think about the choices I have and, you know, what I'm gonna do and stuff like that. So, like, I, I don't, I don't know. That's why I'm asking what you guys want to say. I'll ask again at the end of the video, because I know this one's gonna be probably over an hour or so. Anyway, where the hell even am I? Uh, okay, right. We have the Benefactor mission to do. But before I do that, I wanted to do some of the other missions while I think I was... Yeah, there's these two missions I can do right now. And these, these might be really, really quick and easy. Because I'm pretty sure as soon as we go to this, you see how this is a higher difficulty, then that sort of like increases the difficulty of the campaign or whatever. I won't be able to get these easy missions ever again. So I might as well do them while I have them. I think that's what I'm going to do for this episode before I go into the main story campaign uh, mission. All my shit's repaired, like we're all good to go and everything. I seriously don't remember. <laughs> from the last time. I have my financial report in 14 days. Uh, you really gotta think about all this shit, man. It would take 17 just to get there. So, yeah, I don't I don't really want to go there. It would take 22 days if I wanted to go to Alloway, which I don't. Even though that's like, that is a great paying fucking mission over there. I think I wanted to try this one because this gives so much salvage. And I think I was just gonna like go all salvage. Because the, the money is really not a lot. And I'm thinking I can pull this off and just boom, give me all your salvage. This is also from the Free World League, so there's no rep uh, bonus to do for this. So I think what I'll do is I'll take this contract. We'll go all salvage, except, and I think my loadout is good already, right? Hey, look, I still have Decker. He's not dead <laughs> yet. So this is a recovery mission. We need a team to assault the location. They're being held, recover te the technology, and escape. All right, let's go and hopefully this is not a mistake because again i'm doing this let's play for if there's anybody new here i don't i don't know if there are but i'm, I'm doing this let's play without uh I'm, I'm not doing any reloads i'm not reloading saves whatever happens happens and with a di very dynamic game like this a lot of shit can go wrong so i'm just i'm taking whatever comes my way and i'm dealing with it uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cop out by reloading old saves and stuff i think this game has been updated since as well i don't i don't know what they've updated uh, commander, the target location is likely to be well defended. We need to move up, get eyes on the location, and neutralize any enemy forces. Uh, once we've scared blah, 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 blah. the SLDF tech, the the leopard will extract us at this landing zone. Best of luck, Commander. Olivia out. All right. So our okay. Here's the base of operations. So we just need to go there, 
kick ass, and then landing zone is over there. You got it. On my way. Oh, we're so slow in the water. <laughs> I copy. Oh, already an enemy. Unknown on okay. Sensors. All right, all right. Mech warriors, show them what you've got. We have a mech, which is a good salvage for me. Yes, commander. All right. We're going to move... We could move the spider up, like... Mm. See, this is the part where I, I really take my time with decision-making. Um, so that's probably a light mech. And I kind of want to move far. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to move here. I'm not going to shoot at him. We're going to move like that. Move order received. Because this gives me more evas uh, evasive. Sensor showing a new hostile. It is a fire starter. Okay, and instead of instead of firing at him, we're going to sensor lock him because then we'll knock off two evasive points. Whereas if we fired at him, of course, we would only sensor lock. we would only knock off one. Yes, Commander. So now I can move up with... I hear ya. Oh, any of these guys. Good to go. Uh, ooh, ooh, who would be a better... Hmm. I can't get in range with a lot of my guns, unfortunately. 75% on the PPC might be the way to go. Um, and then this is just AC2s, which really wouldn't do that much damage. Standing by. So I think I'm gonna... Can I actually jump jet? Ah. Oh, I just can't get in range. What's up, boss? Even if I jump chat, like I can't, I can't get in range with the medium lasers at all. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna run up with uh, the vindicator right about here because I get that seventy-five percent hit chance. And let's hope we get a good shot. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, I have my external speakers on. I just realized. <laughs> Whoops. It's probably feedbacking through the mic. Prof I'm professional. Okay. Then I'm gonna jump up with the blackjack. Gives me a lot of evasive points. Jump jets. Um, and I move a lot further there. I can still only hit him with the AC2s, but fuck it. Engaging target. Ooh, I think I only got one hit there. That was weak. Commander. It's weak AF. Then we'll sort of jump forward with the Shadowhawk. Which is looking badass, by the way, with the new skin. <laughs> and fire my AC5. Was that a was that a leg hit? It was a leg hit. I really need more LRMs. All right, enemies, enemy vehicles coming in. Uh oh. Uh, not Decker. Oh god, the pain. Oh, he's got a lot of evasive, so should be all right. Standing by. All right, Decker. We're gonna we're gonna move you to. Oh, I'll get out of range though. Shit, I need to. That's right. The spider only has the two medium lasers. Um, well, if I jump here, I at least get two evasive points, and I'll be able to hit him. It's a really shit chance, but uh, might as well. I don't want that fire starter coming up on me. So, can I? I can use precision strike, right? Yeah, yeah, I can. And I can focus that leg. Yeah, that leg has 13 points of armor. So let's try to hit that leg. Bumps my chances up to 75%. This could be the ticket I need. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We fucking own that fire starter, dude. Both hit? Jesus. That was pristine. All right. I could easily finish him off with the blackjack if I can get to a position where... Oh, yeah, I mean, right there, I could hit him with literally everything. Um, do I want to be closer, though? Ooh, that's a bad spot. Uh, I think this right here, 70, 75, 65. Yeah, like, these two spots right here are the highest chances. And it might give me a good angle on... What if I go here? Oh, yeah, I could go here as well. I kind of want to I kind of want to try to get some visual on the tanks. That's a terrible spot. Um, yeah, you know what? We're gonna jump just like this. Engaging jump jets. Yeah, boy. Uh, and we're going to, we really don't need to alpha strike. Oh, I kinda wanna go for his leg, but I'll uh, go for the center. It's gonna be way easier to hit. And I can save some heat. I'll drop uh, two medium lasers. That, just the four, I mean, that that's definitely overkill. As long as, yeah, he's got 46 points. 
these do 25 each. So as long as two of these hit, we'll be good. Uh, so let's hope I don't have to use all my weapons here, because I really want to save some heat here. Yes? Is that a... Oh my god, I... Shit. Yeah, should have used all my weapons. Damn it, that sucks. Well, it was a risk. Okay. Bitch. What are you shooting? What are you shooting at, boy? Commander. All right, Vindicator has multi-target. Let's jump him uh, nice and close like this, and then I can multi-target both the tank no sweat. and the downed fire starter. Boop, boop. All right, I'm thinking we should throw the PPC at the tank, and then the medium laser and the, SR the LRM at the fire starter. Hopefully that takes him out. The PPC should take out the tank in one shot, and it's an 80% chance. Really shit chances on <laughs> the, the down fire starter, but oh well. Uh huh. Miss. The LRM's enough. Nope, I crit his flame around though. And the tank is just gone. <laughs> that was bye sick. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, move up Jumping. with the Shadowhawk, and if I don't kill this fire starter now, I'm gonna be very perturbed here. Um, yeah, might as well just fire everything, just in case, you never know. On it. Which was overkill, of course, but, you know, so I learned my lesson go. about that. Enemy down. So, it was just one mech and three vehicles, or? Uh, we can move the spider up, take a shot at him, why not? Gotta get the spider to do, do something. In a while, right? Pew pew, motherfucker. <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, those vehicles are weak AF. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Yeah, this is pretty easy. I did yeah. Alright. What's up, boss? What's up, bruh? What can I do for you? Uh, there's nowhere I can get to spot that guy, unfortunately. And I don't know if this um this complex has any tower defenses or turrets rather, so I'm, I'm wary about moving too close, but I'll go here, I guess. And we'll just, we'll just sprint, because uh, I can't take a shot anyway. I don't think so. I think it would have popped up on radar by now. Good to go. Sprint up here with um, her. And then we'll sprint up with her. Going okay. turbo! Going turbo! All right, Duggar. <laughs> I could jump right up to him and be like, yo, what up? Mineral field. These mineral... Wait, I haven't seen this terrain before. These mineral deposits interfere with targeting systems. Plus four difficulty to hit units with a mineral field. Plus two difficulty for attacks made by units within a min... What? That's interesting. That's cool. Huh. I could... Oh, dude. Actually, I'm going to jump right up here. Lifting off. We got cover from the, the trees. And maybe I can take him out in one shot here. Targeting for an alpha strike. Pew, pew. Yeah, boy. Nice. Reporting. One less vehicle. Waiting for orders. All right. So we just need to get into here, I think. Yeah, it's just giving me sprint options for everybody, so. On there. my way. Spider, get in there. Recover the tech. Hold this location until our people can grab the asset. Oh, okay. The asset has been secured. Oh, there and we go. Ready for retrieval. Well done. You managed to wipe out the Op 4 out. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to our planned landing zone. Oh, so we don't even need to get to the landing zone because we killed everybody? <laughs> oh, why? that was so easy. Okay. That was a super easy mission. Hell yeah. I'm down. All right. Hope they had some decent salvage. Uh, yeah, no, shoot technology, 7,000 sea bills. I knew I wasn't going to, like, need a lot of money for that because... Uh, I figured it'd be easy enough. I wouldn't be really doing repairs or anything that would cost any money. So it's not even like, I don't think it cost me anything. No, I didn't even take damage that. Nobody shot at me. No, one guy, the tank shot at me and he missed. So <laughs> I, I didn't take a scratch. I, I wasted some ammunition with the LRMs and SRMs. That was it. I fucking own, dude. Um, oh my Lord. Okay, well, we're definitely taking that fire starter part. And then is there anything like cool. I don't see any uh, rare weapons. I don't see any plus 
signs next to any of these, so... You know what I don't have? I don't have an LRM-10, I think. Right? I think that was something I wanted to get. Um, yeah. Alright. Fire starter part, LRM-10. Boop! Give me shit. I got flamers, medium lasers, all good. Oh, I got that SRM-6 as well. Sweet. Okay. Oh, nice simple mission. I don't know, it's not, not bad. Not too shabby. Dun 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 so that took a day. We have 13 days left. A team unlocked and give me the goods. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just do. I guess that's do a mission where all you take is salvage. I'm gonna look at the store and because I think we're over the planet Detroit and just see if there's anything in the store. No, not really. Um. Yeah, nothing crazy. So that was pretty much just a win-win, just extra parts for shit. So now I can do this one, which is going to give me a lot of money, which I want. Uh, what is this for? We have an opportunity to eliminate a key figure in the pirate hierarchy in this system, which will leave their organization in chaos and ensure safety for Canopian operations. The target will be relatively unguarded and vulnerable, and we'd like you to strike this window of opportunity. Okay. Uh, target won't be alone, and there's a bonus if we clean up this escorting units. Still, if things get too hot, we can always hit and run. Okay. So, oh, this could also be a pretty good salvage opportunity. Again, this is nobody, uh, yeah, sort of a freelancing, so there's no, uh, rep bonus here. I'm kind of thinking because we get, um, we get a bonus... And should I go full money, or should I, like, balance it out because I could get some salvage, you know, and then get that, that bonus at the end, which would still give me a decent amount of pay? Uh, I'm gonna need it. I know I'm gonna need the money. I'm gonna need the money to pay for the expenses coming up. So, I, I think I'm just gonna go full money for this one. We'll just get as much money as possible, and yeah, I don't even need to change anything. Let's just let's go again. Let's go! It seems like the loading times are a lot better now. Um, and I think they were gonna update the game to fix a lot of those, like, awkward pauses in between turns and stuff. There were some, like, really long, unnecessary pauses, so I, I didn't- I didn't even notice. I wasn't really paying attention for that, specifically. Mech warriors, show them what you've got. <laughs> Command interface initiated. But, uh, I didn't- I didn't notice anything, like, out of the ordinary. Uh, Command, our intel was right. The target is in the AO and only lightly guarded. Cool, cool. We're seeing a lot of pirate activity in the vicinity of the target. Uh-oh. Big mech. Ooh, could have gone with salvage. Damn. Ticked him out, get to the evac, and then we get paid. Alright. So, what was that? A Shadowhawk or something? Uh, destroy target unit, destroy supporting enemy force. Is this... Oh, wait, so, supporting enemy forces are here, and the target is... Why do I have two... Alright. So, is that like, I could avoid this? You know? Or... Let me... Let me... Let me... Let me get Decker to sort of maybe get some sights on somebody. Um, we'll jump here. I copy. Okay, there, so I there is a sensor trace. Yeah, there's a guy there. We're gonna sensor lock him. Boop. It is a commando. All right, easy peasy. Uh oh. More hostiles. Another guy. Oh geez, that because I enemy detected it ended the fucking the whole round of phases, so I lost my sensor lock. <laughs> Shit. Oh, What's but up, it's, it's his turn again. It's his turn. Okay, good, good, good. Um, we're, just, we're not even gonna move, actually. Or, maybe I should... I might move here for cover. Yeah, I'm gonna move here for cover, at least. Move order received. And then I can sensor lock him from here, so that way I got evasive, I got cover, just in case. I don't think they're gonna come up on me that fast, but you never know. And we'll sensor lock this guy, because he's moving. Probably got another sensor lock. commando? I think it is, yeah. No, a panther. Okay. Commando incoming. Oh, I could get up on this rock and take a shot at him right now. Say what? What are the odds I could even hit this guy? 55 for so far. Not to mention a sort of... Actually, wait. Can I jump jet up on... Oh, I want to jump jet on this pillar. That would have been so cool. Okay, right here is a direct line of sight. So... Oh my god, the PPC's out of range there. Yikes. I'm just, just going to move over here really quick, I guess. Try to get a I shot. He's the only guy I have with, like, really long range uh, stuff. So, I could precision strike from here. You know what? F you know, fuck it. Might as well. Why not? Uh, go for that lucky-ass 2% chance of a headshot right away. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It'd be fucking great if it did. I think that was center torso. I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. 
Okay, I could jump up here with my dude. Like this. Might be a bad idea, because he's going to be up there alone, but... Uh, since when did I ever make good decisions here? Oh, I can multi-target, too. That's actually a good idea. Um, that commando's moving so fast, I can barely hit him. So we will send the AC cannons over at the Panther, and then everything else at the commando. Like so. Engaging multiple targets. Oh, wow. We actually got a lot of hits for having really shit chances. Ooh, that one. Oh, okay, one hit. I thought they both missed. All right, Shadowhawk, you're gonna have to... I took a lot of the jump jets off of the Shadowhawk, so, like, my jumping is shit. But I'm gonna sprint here so that my next turn, I can jump jet up here with my Blackjack. The Shadowhawk does look pretty badass now. Yeah, bring it on. You missed. Bitch. All right, you can also jump up here now with the spider. Jumping. And take a shot at him. Oh, I can actually blow that torso off. Acknowledged. Did I get it? I did get it. Nice. Pilot injured. Lol. All right, Panther's finally moving up. What you got? Ooh. I forgot if he had a PPC. Ow. Oh no, well at least he missed with it. That would have hurt my spider a lot. Holding firm. Okay, Panther is a primary target. I forgot Panther's had yes, Commander. Peep -a PCs. All right, we're jumping right up in front. I kind of want to protect. Um, Can I get back a little more to get my LRMs in a better range here or no? No, okay, so. All right, we're jumping straight up. And I could fucking own that Commando, but I really don't like this guy with the PPC. The commando has not a lot. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for the panther first. Fuck it. Copy that. Yes. I love my special SRM-6 doing extra damage. Love it. What can I do for you? Alright. You need to move up the, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so far. God damn it. Oh wait, I have a, oh, I do have a line of sight on. Yes, okay. It's not gonna be a very good chance to hit, but fuck it, let's hope for the best here. Here we go. PPC, please. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> that was way off. All right, there's no more evasion on the Panther at all. So I can move up like right here with my Blackjack and just completely alpha strike except not Alpha Strike because there we go. All right, I just had to remove one laser. Now I'll be fine. Otherwise, I was gonna overheat there. Fuck you. Ooh, we blew off his leg. All right, good, 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 good. All right, still, still some un, un, very long pauses. So I don't know if they fixed that yet, but it's fine. Ow. Yikes. Are you really coming this close, dude? You are a madman. What are you doing? Uh, I could just literally punch this guy in the face, but I kind of want to... I think I'm going to jump and move the spider to a safer location. Um, God, I don't have a good... I could do this, but <laughs> I don't want to get that close in case that panther is able to get back up. So I'm going to move the spider here because it's forest, so I get cover and shoot at the, off. the panther that's down right now. See if we can take him out. What what has the PPC? If I can just take out the PPC, then I don't have to worry about him. The PPC is in that arm, so I would want to go for the right torso and see if we can get it. Copy that. Nope, both missed. That's fine. Negative damage. Negative damage. No, there's no damage. It's not like you healed him by shooting at him. Achievement unlocked, had your chance. What? God damn it. No! No, don't shoot at the spider! Oh god! Ah, uh, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh jeez. Yeah, of course you're gonna shoot at the spider! Ah! Oh, god! That shot got past my armor. I fucking knew it. I, good thing I went to the forest, because that's 25% damage reduction at least. So it didn't do as much damage Commander. as uh, it, it could have, which is 
Oh, fucking. Fuck. We're taking him out of the game. Right now. Firing everything at him. Firing a full salvo. Get out. Get out of my game. Get out. All right. This PP yeah, he's dead. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> One less target. God damn it. I gotta do repairs on the spider. Jesus Christ. Waiting for orders. Um, I don't know, Commando. You want to just need a face full of fucking lasers, I guess. Engaging target. Actually, I probably could have melee him. I think the melee would have been more damage. I wasn't really paying attention there. But it's it it's fine. We knocked him out. Um, and as I can't do anything with you right now. I can move up here and then fire LRMs, I guess. Moving out! Uh, center, wait, um, better chance to hit the center, so. Yeah. All right, Spider, finish him off. It's your time to shine. Punch him in the face, in the dick. Locked on for Crotch stop attack. him. Stomp, stamp, stomp him, yeah. Curb stomp, whatever, words, all right. He's dead, that's all that Tango down. <laughs> I blow off his other leg. Kick him when they're down. <laughs> Did they add a bunch of new achievements? I thought I've already done most of this stuff. Right, so now it's literally just getting to the, the target. Uh, so let's... Affirmative. Get, get everybody up Got here. It. On my way. Okay. Oh, he's... Oh, he's coming at to us. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Waiting for orders. Uh, Decker, you are going to. <laughs> you're gonna run away now? I want you to run over here as far as possible. Confirmed. So we get as much evasive points as possible. And then we will sensor lock the crap out of him. Boop. Got a lock. Very nice. So it's a Kentaro. Would have been some nice um, salvage, but oh well. Can we? Ah, shit. I can't really get. Yeah, there's nowhere I can get with um, my Vindicator right now to get a PPC shot on him. It sucks. All right, we'll just jump here. I leap. I soar. All right, chill, chill out. There. All right. Tell me what to shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Was that really necessary? Did they really record a line for that? Wait, what? Standing by. I okay. I whatever. If I jump here, uh, it's only my AC twos that really get a good shot. Maybe I should go here with. Oh, you know, then it's only the AC five. All right, so uh, fuck. All right. I'm, I'm gonna take a hit. I know I'm gonna take a hit. Uh, but. It's fine. Fire the AC2s at them. Engaging target. Nice. I, I didn't even look to see what that Kentaro has. What do you have on you? LRM5, uh, oh my god, three SRM6s. Yeah, that will fucking hurt. Ready for orders. That will, that will really hurt. Right, we're gonna move like this, I guess. I don't know what to do. Like. Okay, I think I hit his leg. Oh, it's my turn again? Oh, yeah, I can just... Um, I'm really worried he might go for the spider, so I'm gonna keep sprinting and moving away. Like this. And then just Got sensor it. lock him again. Boop. Sensors locked on. Hopefully he doesn't go for the spider. I don't, I don't think he will. Uh-oh, he turned to the... No. No, you're not going for the spider. Don't you dare. He's... Dude, he moved this... He moved towards my spider! Are you joking me? This mother... All right, we need to... We need to, like... Waiting for orders! We need to... We need to get in his face. Like, now. Damn it, I don't have anything that... That can... Get there. I can't believe he's actually going after my spider. What a bitch. Uh -huh. All I can do is some LRMs. Uh -huh. Ah, I can get a direct line of fire, though, like this. Can I get closer? I can't get close enough to use my 
Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. 75, 60, 75. All right, so, so right here, I will be close enough to actually use all my weapons. Engaging jump jets. Uh, and overheat the hell. So let's not do that. Oh, still overheating. Okay. Um, I don't want to overheat because I'll cause internal damage and then repairs take for fucking ever. So, you know what? I already have to do... Uh, and then I have to travel to the other system, which will take a few days. Fuck it. You know what? Fine. I'll overheat a, a tiny little bit. I could alpha strike and do a crazy overheat. I have an interesting threshold. Like, it seems really low. Like, it's not even gonna... I'm not even gonna shut down. I'm just gonna... It's weird. You know what? Ballsy move here. Precision strike. Fucking... <laughs> I could go for the head again. <laughs> so dumb. Um, go for center torso. Literally alpha striking everything. Being a little... Being slightly ballsy here. Ooh. 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 That had to fucking hurt. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's fine. Relax. Uh, oh, wow. And then I can actually get close enough with my shadow hawk to use all my weapons here on my way and try to try to protect my blackjack by running in front of them i don't know if it's gonna work but i don't how do i even have a line of sight like i all right yeah i guess it's kind of clipping like oh yeah i guess i could see how maybe but <laughs> if this is a first person shooter I, I would just hit the rock there's no way yeah oh well worth a shot all right, Spider, you need to boogie out because this guy is coming after you for some reason. So we're gonna we're gonna jump in the cover behind this rock formation here, um, so he can't shoot at us. Up high. And we'll sensor lock him because that's all I can do. Hopefully he doesn't still try to go for the spider. I don't see why he would now that he has two targets on the screen. Receiving you. If he does, then he's a I hear ya. bitch. I need to cool off. I need to cool off with the blackjack, cause yikes. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna move this way a little bit to get out of his line of sight. And then brace. Try and vent some heat here. Uh, can fire again with Shadowhawk and not move because I have Bulwark, so I'll get 50% damage reduction. So let's just uh, take another shot. Giving him everything I've got. He's getting pretty fucked up, to be fair. Good to go. What? I get direct line of sight here. Uh, okay, sure. No sweat. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, not. It's sort of direct, but I, you know. Um. Okay, yeah, fire. Special delivery! I think the PPC hit his leg. Alright, now it's his turn. Are you seriously running away and going towards my spider? Ooh, control. I'm gonna. He's, he's fucking. He's pussing out, dude. What is he doing? Dude, I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, we're just gonna keep hopping around with the spider. I, I'm just gonna hop over here. Jumping. In the cover. And just sensor lock him again. I think he really is trying to chase my spider. Sensors locked on. What, the, what a dick, dude. Oh, now you're going for the, okay, sure. Wow. He. Ah. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm gonna need a medic. Are you jo What a fucking bullshit headshot. <laughs> yes, come in. Oh, no, that's the first one. That's the first time I've gotten a headshot like that, so. I guess it happens. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to jump back a little bit like this. Here we go. This is such an awkward fight because he has the high ground, so, like, we're at a disadvantage here. Locking in all weapons system. Yikes. Ooh, I could death from above him, but probably a really, really bad <laughs> idea. If I went here... Oh, my PPC actually fucking owns right there. I wish there was somewhere else I could jump with. Um, actually, jumping here, yeah, this gives me three evasive points, so... Fuck it. Affirmative. Jump right up in his face. Uh, I could precision strike again. I really want to open up his center, but I don't think this would be the right guy to precision strike. 
with, so I'm not going to waste it. Oh, overheating much. Jeez, uh, uh, all I can fire is the PPC. That sucks. Got it. I just like... This guy is still running super hot, too. Um, I feel like jumping up there is actually a really bad idea. I might have made a mistake with the Vindicator doing that. And I don't want to use jump jets because this guy is already overheating so much. So I think I'm just going to back up like this. Yeah. We're just going to back up right now. And take out two medium lasers so that I don't overheat again. Engaging target. Is that a headshot? That looked like a headshot. It is. Pilot injured. What the hell? Why can I not move beyond the... Oh my god, I'm literally on the boundary of the fucking world. Are you kidding me? That's a little weird. Okay. I'm, I'll jump. I'm just hiding my spider right now. <laughs> I need to get new mechs, man. I, I fucking... I should not be running a spider. I'll just sensor lock him, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Ow. Orders. She had nothing to say about that one, apparently. Here we go. Direct line of sight. Um, this guy is aye, aye. pissing me off being up there. This is actually really tough just because he has the high ground here. Fuck. Oh, if that missed, I was going to say, god damn. All right, so I took quite a hit. I'm going to... Dude, I really want a death from above him, but... I, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to blow my legs off, man. I, I can't. I can't do it. I'm, I, I'm, I gotta play safe. I also need to cool down because I'm, I'm running so hot right now with the Vindicator. So I'm just gonna jump here in the cover, like this, for the moment. I gotta play this safe. If I death from above him, you know, even if, I probably won't kill him. And even if I don't blow off my legs immediately, he'll just punch me in the face and kill me so it's a it's a dumb move it is a very 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 dumb move i'm not doing it firing on target i'm sure everybody's like oh do it i want you to do it death from above but like i'm gonna wait till i get the death from above pilot ability so that i can sort of do that thing i still think it's like a last ditch effort sort of you know it's such it's such a risky move it does a lot of damage sure but um, I could overheat again and do another precision sh strike. I might, I might do that. Go for the center, fire everything. Yeah, let's try that. Oh my god, two things fucking this right away. Come on, get that center open. It is open now. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Warning, heat exceeding recommended level. As long as I don't blow up my internal ammo by accident, I'll be all right. We're gonna move. Uh. I'm not even gonna move at all, actually, with the spider. Fuck it. Got a lock. So it's just, just, it's gonna pussy out with the What's spider. Fuck it. All right, Shadowhawk, can you get closer to use all your weapons? Yes, you can. All right, finally. Finally, I have a decent shot at this guy. This should do some damage. Firing. That's a lot of damage. Sorry, I was watching that PewDiePie video earlier. Crit out one of his SRM sixes. All right. This guy's fucking tough, dude. Waiting for orders. Let me jump here. I think. Yeah. Now that I vented a lot of heat, got it. To get a direct line of sight. Hit him right where. Oh my God, that's gonna overheat so much. All right. Fuck. I'm still overheating. Jesus. Um. Well, internally everything's fine. If I get that center, though, man. I don't want to not fire the PPC right now. <laughs> and even if I only fire the PPC, I'm still overheating. So I might as well just fucking fire everything, right? I don't know. So the more you overheat, does it do more internal damage? Or is it just like a set? If you overheat, it does this amount of damage. Like, I don't, I don't know. So I'm just, fuck it. Yes. Okay. Glad I fired the PPC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Fine, you're fine. Everything's fine. 
blacks. I should probably get my blackjack to some cover here to cool off. I can fire a single AC2 at him. I guess. Engaging target. Yeah. I would, I would laugh if that actually killed him. Ooh, we're tearing this guy apart. Okay. Uh, who did he fire at? Of course he fires. Fuck. Should the spider come in and save the day? Jump right here, take a shot at him? No, we're not gonna do that. Sensor lock. Pussy out. I've he's, got a he's, sensor lock. He has 16 points left in the... Oh, no. I didn't realize he got to go again. I was not paying attention. Right, at least he shot at a different mech this time. You know what? Don't even move, Shadowhawk. Literally, just just finish this guy, please. All right, please and thank you. That was his leg. That was a complete whiff. Oh my god! It's just a flesh wound. All right. If this doesn't kill him, I'm gonna. I I don't know. There, I can fire all of this without overheating. If this does not kill him, I'm gonna eat my own pants. Okay. Thank you. Let's go, let's go. Yikes. Uh. Enemy mech destroyed. Ugh, yawn, okay. Not not yawn at the game right there. I'm having fun. I just I was yawning because I just woke up and I'm tired and stretching. I realized how that just sounded. <laughs> well done, you managed to wipe out uh, the op four out. Didn't she say that last time? I can do an extract right now, no need to get to our planned landing zone. Okay. Mission successful. Jesus. That was uh it's definitely a lot tougher, mainly because that guy had the high ground, man, and we just, it was hard to even take shots at him. Not to mention I overheated like crazy. So, all right, almost 200,000, pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need all the fucking money now because uh, I took a, yeah. These three, Shadowhawk's fine, but these three are going into the repair bay. And I think I have an injured pilot who, yeah, injured 26 days. Fuck! Ah, boy. Injuries so I don't know. One injury should not take 26 days to heal. Like, I feel like one injury max should be like 12 days, like six to 12 days. Like, that's that's ridiculous. But, oh well. I got a Kentaro part. Oh, wow. All right. Shit. Uh, hell yeah. Okay. If I can get a Kentaro built, dude, um, that's replacing the spider <laughs> immediately. Okay, so... You're out of action for 26 days. God damn it. Um, going to have to... Oh, wait, there's actually another contract. Oh, but these are on different plan. Yeah, so going to these planets is just not, not, not for 22 days of travel time. So I might as well travel to the Benefactor. Let me just see if there's anything new in the store really quickly. There is not. Okay, now to go repair all my shit. <laughs> I didn't lose any weapons, I don't think. So we're good there. Uh, and I'm not gonna change any loadouts right now. I don't think I am anyway. If there's anything I would want to change, it would be the Vindicator and I'd get rid of that small laser. Like, I, the small laser does nothing. I would get rid of the small laser and replace the LRM-5 with an LRM-10 uh, because I need some better long range support, but that makes me over tonnage. I'm not even maxed armor in this thing, which is kind of scary. Um, oh my God, there's actually two more energy, Jesus. I honestly could turn this into like a bit of a laser bow. I mean, this has five energy hard points and I'm using like <laughs> almost nothing of that. Uh, gee, I just, I don't think I can do it with that. I'd have to sacrifice more uh, armor or jump jets or something. I mean, okay, if I took the jump jets off like this, and then like maybe a heat sink. So I could I could run it like this without jump jets. Pump up the armor a lot here. I really don't like not having full armor. Why do I have to click repair on all the look isn't there just like a repair all button? I don't know. Like what if I confirmed it without repairing? What would happen? Oh there is a okay. <laughs> I could throw a shit ton of flavors on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But I definitely think I kind of want to do this just to give it better fire support. Bump up the armor like I did there. We'll take off some from the arm to balance. And we'll just run them without jump jets. Jump jets are very fucking useful, especially on that last map. But it's like, 
they just they take up so much space is the problem and they generate a lot of heat when you use them so i mean that or i get rid of the lrms completely and as like a sort of long range sniping build i do the ppc and like the large laser like that and i could i would drop the medium laser to save heat and tonnage and i could have the jump jets back you know what i mean like that can be that heat efficiency though is fucking awful <laughs> um like that could be cool you know i like having that LR, those lrms though spider i'm probably not going to change shadowhawk i'm probably not going to change the blackjack fucking uh, the blackjack i i do want to change so what, what if we just strip all of this i'm gonna be ending the video here and i'm not gonna do another mission so this is why i'm taking my time with this um if i just if i just get rid of everything then i max armor but balance it out a tad here okay that gives me 17 tons to work with i only have one large laser i could throw it on this guy i also have an ac5 that could be thrown on this guy I do one ton of AC5 ammo. I still don't need heat sinks because I'm good there. And then like a medium laser for extra firepower, at which point I would start needing some heat sinks like that. So I could do large laser, medium laser, AC5, like, I don't know. The AC2s are kind of blech, you know? Like, they're cool, but they take up so much fucking room, dude. I mean, look at that. Ah, uh, I really don't know what to do here. I mean, my main concern is that I'm not running max armor. Like, that bothers me. What if I just didn't run ballistics on this guy? Like, what if I just did all energy like this? You know what I mean? So we're just a crazy energy bow, right? Because the thing is, ballistics just waste so fucking much. Throw in a shit ton of heat sinks, you know? And then I could also do jump chests. Actually, this might be... This might be the way, honestly. That heat efficiency still isn't terrible. It's nearly 50%, and it actually is 50% if I don't use jump jets. So a max armor, oh, you know what? I still have room. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I could put, wait a minute. I could put on a flamer. I could put on like a flamer and a uh, machine gun. <laughs> is, please tell me machine gun ammo is half a ton. Oh, it's a whole ton. God damn it. There we go. Two machine guns. I, li I like this build way better, actually. Fuck those fucking AC2s, man. Whatever. I tend to, I end up brawling with this anyway, so I, I like this. Large laser, three medium lasers, two machine guns. I have four fucking jump jets and my heat efficiency is way better than it was. I like this. This is, this is very nice. My range went down quite a bit, but you know what, that's fine. The AC2s are, I mean, they really don't even do that much. This one large laser does almost as much as both AC2s. This is 40 damage and two AC2s is 50 damage. So I'm only losing 10 points of damage while still keeping the, that range, you know what I mean? What, this is a max of 450 meters, AC2 ammo, or AC2s are 720. All right, so those do have quite a bit of better range, but I never like use them at that range. And this has a minimum range of 120. So if I'm close up, these become useless anyway, whereas the large laser does not have a minimum range. So I can be right up in somebody's face and blast them in the face with a large laser at full accuracy. I think this is the better better way. I'm going to go with this. Once I do this, I can't go back. So, you know, and on top of that, we get the max armor as well. So, like, there's no there's no downside here, really. I don't think, anyway. Besides losing a little bit of range. Uh, but this should be way, way more heat efficient. So I'm going to accept that. Yikes! 44 days? Holy... Why? The large laser takes seven days to install. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, did I fuck up because I did it in a different order? So it's like install medium laser into the... No, there was already medium lasers there. Oh my God, that's so dumb. It doesn't remember that there were medium lasers already. Hang on, hang on. If I revert everything... Because these medium lasers are already here. So there's no... Yeah, it's like it's not remembering... Oh, that's so stupid. It's like I installed different medium lasers. I swapped them out or something. Okay, well, it's a good thing I caught that before I f fucking confirmed that. Repair all. Drag these out in the right order. And don't remove the jump jets either. Remove that laser. Put on the large laser. Max out the armor. Minus a couple points. I was gonna say, there's no way that shit should be taking 44 goddamn days. And then 
what did I do? Machine gun, machine gun, machine gun ammo, and then heat sink, heat sink, heat sink. We'll just spread. I don't want to move this one because that will take fucking a few days to move it over, which is really dumb. And heat sink. Okay. That's exactly what I had before, but it should be taking way less time. Yeah, 29 days. Look at that. That's stupid. That it doesn't, like, just remember you already had medium lasers in there. If, like, you take those out and then put in a different medium laser. Oh, that's adding six days. Like, fuck. <laughs> that's, I literally cut the time in half. Let me just make sure. That's right. Yeah. Max armor, four jump jets, two machine guns, three medium lasers, large laser. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And confirm. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. That was so much better. Spider, we're just not changing. So, just repair the spider. Okay. It takes one fucking day. And then the Vindicator. I'm gonna go back to this and see if I can refit this with an LRM-10. Fuck the small laser. And I guess we'll just get rid of the jump jets. We could also drop a heat sink, I suppose. Because the heat efficiency is pretty decent. I'm gonna drop another one, actually, so that I can do more armor. Cause again, I don't, I don't like this shit not having max armor, especially on the the rear here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna max out the rear armor and then strip off some from this arm that I'm not using, and a little bit more on the legs, cause I don't plan to be doing death from above anytime soon. There we go. All right, PPC medium laser LRM10. I mean. There's nothing else to really... I couldn't swap that medium laser out for anything, I don't think. Uh, so... I'm just gonna stick with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Long range support scout, uh, basically. Just I had to remove jump jets. Fuck it. I'd rather have max armor than jump jets. And the heat efficiency is like 50%, so it's good. We will confirm that. That's 12 days. Fine. And... okay. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Lot of stuff happening. It's gonna be like over a month to <laughs> do all this. We'll do the spider first, since it's quicker, and then we'll do the Vindicator. The Blackjack will be last. I'm probably not gonna go into battle without any of these right now, since I don't have any parts. So we'll just we'll do it like that, and let's go to the barracks here and see if we have, we have a decent amount of XP. So I think personally, it's good to go. I, my pilot needs more guts because I have a very low heat threshold that's rather annoying. Oh, and then I could also do like another, yeah, all right. Negative one indirect fire penalty, that's good. Or the piloting, nah, I, I would I would definitely do, I think guts and tactics. I could also save my XP, but I'm gonna get all these up to four at least anyway. So let me do that. Last name, Apple Pie. I forgot I did that. So, confirm. Eh. Mech Warrior training complete. Good. Standing by. Good. You, I have not been using because I'm going to use you now since we have a pilot out, of, out of action here. Um, but we can get her up to. Oh, we can also. Who was I using Glitch in? I don't know what I would want her to have. And Behemoth can. Like, alright, Behemoth already has. That behemoth, behemoth gunnery needs to go up. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Behemoth, I'm gonna get her all the way uh, four on on across the board. So boom. Training confirmed, Commander. Standing by. Decker can also. Uh, Decker could get Decker. You know what? As a light mech, as a light pilot, and if I'm gonna keep him doing his light thing, should probably get the evasive movement perk. And the second. Uh, tier here is fucking awesome. This unit can move after shooting if it has not moved yet. That is ooh, that is such a good thing to have. Like, you could shoot and then fucking move in the cover. Like, that's kind of an awesome fucking ability. I really like that, and that would be great for a light mech, too. So I might just straight up go for this right now. Like, I don't I don't know. Because this generates the extra evasive movement, so he will be even more, he'll be even harder to hit. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give him the evasive perk. Yes, I know it's permanent. And they can only have two abilities, so that's Training it for him. Complete. He is done. And then Glitch, I don't I don't know what I want to do with Glitch, so I'm just going to bump these up to four so he's, she's rounded out. Mech Warrior training complete. All right, yes, that better. is, that's everybody. All right. Hiring hall. I guess I can also look if there's anybody cool, which there's only 
Good to go. MechWarrior can't be hired because your company's mercenary review board rating is too late. So I can't even hire any of these guys. This would be the only guy I could, what do you need? I could hire. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna save here, I think, and then when I come back for the next episode, whether I do it as a recording or I do it as a live stream, we're gonna jump to the priority mission benefactor. So again, let me know if you guys would like to see this as live stream. I can move this over to live streams instead, and I would still upload the live streams, uh, you know, over to YouTube as well. It's just they're not going to be as cleanly uh, cut and edited, obviously, because it's, it's all live. But it might, I don't know, it might just be better, I think, for this sort of game. I, again, that's why I'm asking what you guys would think. So I could keep doing it this way, as I am, or, you know, just move it over to live stream. So, uh, yeah, let me know, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good at YouTube things, all right? You didn't, you didn't subscribe for my professionalism, okay? Anyway, I'm still loving this game, and I'm sorry, again, that it took me so long to get back to this. So many things have been going on. And I'm sure I'm so far behind. I should have like probably finished the game by now and I'm still fucking with the same, the beginning lance of mechs. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll try to continue this ASAP.